Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Sephora holiday event VIB sale unboxing for 2021. So I got all these items in the mail, honestly, several weeks ago. I just haven't had a chance to bust into these boxes. But I'm going to unveil them all for you and unbox them here with you guys today and share with you some first impressions of these new items I picked up from Sephora. So I'm super excited to get into this. Um, if you're new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom. In my spare time, I really love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to reselling as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay guys, so the VIB sale is a sale that I always shop every single year. I tried to pare it down a little bit this year compared to other years just because, you know, I honestly have gotten a ton of stuff over the year in terms of makeup and skincare and I need to be a little bit more of a minimalist, I'll say. I don't use nearly probably 80% of the stuff that I pick up, so I need to be a little bit more mindful of this. So although I pared it down, I do have these two boxes here to open up with you guys today. So I'm really excited to bust in here and share with you what I decide to ultimately pick up from the sale. I love stopping the sale every single year and I always pick up a few fun items and some good old favorites. It's been a while since I actually did the shopping for this so I really can't remember exactly what's in here so I'm excited to get into it and check out what I picked up too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this little one aside. And just get into the big one first, maybe. All right, so let me just go ahead and open the box up here. I always get a little nervous with makeup products because I worry they may be damaged in the mail. And I don't know why, but especially with Sephora, I've noticed the shipping hasn't been that great, meaning that our delivery person just kind of throws these boxes aside on our porch or doorstep. So I'm always a little nervous. Really though, I haven't had any major issues, but I get a little bit nervous. All right, so here's my box. And I have a lot of really fun things to share with you guys. So let's see what I have here first. I think these are my two samples. And I don't think I probably picked these specific samples. I think recently they've just been doing random samples in, but you know, I'll check these out. I got the Belief Aqua Balm Vitamin C Serum. So I'm excited about this. I do want to try this. And then I have the La Interdit Givenchy, uh, the perfume. So I haven't heard much about this. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but this is my other sample thrown in here. Okay, so I'm going to put the box aside and just kind of pull out what's in here. I believe I should have one other kind of add in here. Yes, and here it is. So November is my birthday month, so I was able to add on my little birthday treat. So I just had to go with the NARS set. So it's a Laguna set. It comes with this kind of bronzy lip product in addition to a little bronzer. So yeah, I will try this out. I do like NARS blushes. I don't think I've tried a bronzer and I haven't tried this particular lip product before. So I thought this was nice. I wasn't really blown away with any of the birthday selections this year, but I figured I would like this one best. So it's really pretty packaging, of course. I just love the cute little mini sizes too, as you can see. So the lip is really small as a problem, but it's this really nice kind of bronzy color, as you can see. Maybe I'll swatch it here. So this will be good, I think especially for maybe this summer where you don't really want as heavy of a lip. It really adds a kind of bronze look, I think. And then this is the really cute bronzer. So I think I'm probably gonna like this. I like the blushes a lot. So this is the bronzer color. So I think this is really pretty. If you wanna see the swatch of the lippy, I will show that to you right here. So the lip looks like it's really neutral. I think it's gonna go with a lot of things. It really will kind of suit my wardrobe too. So I think it's something that I will enjoy probably more in the spring and summer months, for me at least, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that birthday gift. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the items that I actually picked up, and one of them came in this little separate box here, and 
and it's kind of thrown in here, but this is my beautiful palette I decided to splurge on. I try to minimize how many eyeshadow palettes I pick up just because I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes. Never go through any of them entirely, but you just can't resist. I mean, these things are gorgeous. <laughs> so I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury new release, the Instant Eye Palette. Smoky eyes are forever. And it has four different looks, it says. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. I'm always worried this will crack in the mail though, like I said, so let's see. Okay, so I've never had any Charlotte Tilbury eye palettes before, I believe. So the quality on here is really nice. You can tell it's high quality, great packaging. It's plastic, but it's really thick plastic. And it has um, different eye looks that you can do, I guess. So let's see what it looks like. I mean, this is really pretty. So it has a little tutorial sheet here, but um, let me show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna try to block out the mirror so it doesn't blind you guys. But here is what it looks like. And luckily, I think nothing is cracked. So this is just beautiful, and these are my kind of colors, no question, which is why I went for this. Let me show you a little bit up close. So as you can see, there's different groupings of eyeshadows, depending on what kind of look you're going for. But all these colors, I think, are ones that I'm going to really, really make good use out of. So let me go ahead and see how they swatch. Maybe I'll do a quick, I guess, matte, and then I'll do a shimmer too. So as expected, I think they swatch very nicely. Um, and then I'm going to pick out a little shimmer one here. Okay, so the pigmentation seems very good. I mean, I'm just using my fingers here, but I picked out a matte here, and this is from the Happy Eyes, as you can see. And here's a little shimmer. It's not glittery, just shimmery. A little beautiful green color. It goes pretty well with my sweater, actually. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but I think I will wear them together. So the pigmentation seems good, and it seems to swatch very nicely, so I'm excited to get into this, especially for holiday, but really all year round, I think this is going to be beautiful. So yeah, happy about this eyeshadow palette. It's just colors that I just love. You know, I'm always drawn to all palettes, especially ones that have really fun pops of color. But even though they seem fun in the packaging and just really pretty to play with, I don't usually wear them on a day-to-day -day just because I like more um, neutral types of looks. So I think that while this palette has some really nice pops of color, they're all kind of neutral pops, I would say. For instance, the green that I just swatched is green, but it's a neutral green. So I have a great impression of this palette. I'm gonna try it out, share with you guys what I think about it, but so far, for a neutral girl like me, I think this kind of palette is just gonna be super versatile for me. So yeah, loving this um, palette. Okay, so next up here, I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Basics Deluxe Kit. So it comes with two of the brow whizzes and then the brow gel. So I use the Brow Wiz every day. I'm using it right now, in fact, today. And I just love the really fine tip. I think it works really great. I do also like the Benefit Brows too, but I decided just to go with this Anastasia one. This pack up was a great value, so you get two of the Brow Wizzes plus the gel. I haven't tried the gel, so I'm excited to give it a try. I decided to go for, let's see here, the color Dark Brown, which is a little bit darker than what I'm wearing now, so. I'll try it out. I think that sounds like it'll probably suit me a little better, but this was a great pickup for me. Oh, so next up is a great gift item. So if you haven't picked up your gifts yet, definitely consider some beauty product gifts. I think in general makeup may be a little hard to give people unless you know them super well, because it's a little bit of a personal thing. But items like lip balms, lip mask, face masks are perfect for gifting in my opinion, especially this time of year. So here's a great gift set that's I would definitely consider checking out. So it's from Laneige, it's their lip sleeping mask. It comes with the original berry, but it also has, I believe, let's see what this is called. I think this is supposed to be peppermint and like a ginger snap, I think. 
Um, but the two new scents or fragrances there um, are included. So I love these. Even these little pots last a long time. And the full size Laneige for me lasts, I mean, really well over six months, likely even longer. So this is probably gonna carry me through most of next year, but what a cute little gift set. These are super moisturizing. I cannot recommend them enough. I put on the lip mask every single night before I go to bed. My kids use them too when they have chapped lips. It's super gentle, not sticky. So really, really love this product. And I'm really excited to try these new um, fragrances or scents out. So yeah, definitely consider picking this up, but I'm super happy I got my hands on this one. All right, so next here, uh, I really want to try this product. It's kind of weird because it came open like this, so I don't know how I feel about it. Um, hopefully it's just the box that it opened. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous lip oil. So, let's see, this one is in the color Rosewood. Let's check it out. So, I'm not going to probably apply it now just because I have my lip on. But this is a gorgeous little oil that I really wanted to try. Um, it has a really thick doe foot, as you can see there. And the rosewood color is a little bit of a darker color. I was thinking of the light pink color to try, but I wanted to go for a little bit darker. And it has cherry oil in it, and it's supposed to be just a really great product. People rave about this Dior lip oil. Um, so I'm excited to give it a try. The size I'm a little bit underwhelmed by. I mean, this is a pretty pricey product, like a lot of Dior makeup is, but um, this is pretty small, you know? So I don't know, we'll see. It has to blow me away if I'm gonna repurchase it for something like this, but um, I'm excited to try it out. I've been wanting to get my hands on lip oil for a while, so while it was on sale, I decided to kind of splurge on it. So I will check this out. I think these kind of lip oils are perfect, especially as we're still wearing masks most of the time these days. To wear under your mask, especially if there's not a ton of color, um, it's nice to wear something that's a little bit more um, soft under your mask, I would say, rather than kind of a harsh lipstick um, that's really dark. So I will um, definitely look forward to checking this out and let you know what I think about it. Okay, so next here is a gift for my daughter. She's gonna go bonkers over this because she's really into face masks, kind of spa days, you know, all that kind of stuff, like pampering herself, wearing fragrances, starting to get into makeup. She's pretty young, so I really try to limit the makeup itself besides things like lip balms, but she definitely loves, you know, spa day, painting her nails, all that stuff. So I picked up this set of face masks, and it's wrinkled, which is not great, but <laughs> um, it comes with six face masks from Sephora line, a really great value, and she's going to get to try out all of these masks. So yeah, this is going to be great for her. I think I may put it in her stocking, um, or as an extra little Christmas gift for her, but that's why I picked this up, excited to check these out. I like face masks. I'm not a huge, huge fan because I don't really know if they work very well. I mean, I'm being totally honest. I wear them occasionally or try them out. I think you think they're working, which is why you want to keep purchasing them, but I can't really say that I've had amazing results after wearing a face mask, besides the fact that you know it does relax you, but um, I don't know. I'll check these out with her too. I may grab a couple of these for myself, but definitely want to consider this for great stocking stuffer. Okay, so I think I just have one final item here, and this is the item at my tried and true every single Sephora VIB sale I pick up, and this sells out pretty quickly. So this is sold out, I believe, unless they restocked it. So whenever I can get my hands on it, I do on sale. It's the beautiful holiday scented candle and reed diffuser from Nest. This is holiday for us in our house. Every single year I've talked about this. I purchase it every time in multiple different varieties. I have the huge candle as well in this fragrance, but let's see here. So this year, actually, it looks like the same pattern as last year, so I don't know about that. Um, oftentimes, the foil um, detail here would be a little different pattern, but I think it's the same as last year. But this scent, for me, smells so warm. It just smells like holiday. I think the name really suits it well. This is a beautiful candle. It's a little small, so I do purchase the larger one in the scent as well. Um, but just gorgeous, and you save a little money by getting this pack up. 
So the rediffuser is here and this looks like it's intact. One year the rediffuser did come cracked. I didn't return it because I hate returning things so I just kept it but um, this year it looks intact. So I'm excited to get this open because it's already the holiday time. I need to put this out. Um, the rediffusers are great for our household when you worry about leaving burning candles around little kids. Just to be wary though, even though this is not a candle, you have to put it up high on a shelf, especially if you have four kids around. I cannot tell you how many baseballs, basketballs, footballs, soccer balls are kicked and thrown around my living room even though I warn everybody to stay away from the living room when you're using balls and things like that. Many things have broken off of our shelves. So I have to hide this in a really safe location. I do not want this to spill in my living room, um, but that's where I put it. I just put it right in the main entryway so when people come visit us at the door, they can also kind of smell the beautiful fragrance. It really does fill a room. I cannot say enough good things about this Nest Holiday scent. It's my absolute favorite from the line. I always pick it up every year and I'm going to put it out right after this video just to kind of get us in the mood for a holiday. So I'm really happy I got my hands on this. You can also purchase nests from other places too, not just Sephora. So I know in years past I picked up the larger candle versions, I believe from Nordstrom, but they sell them at other retailers too. So keep your eye out for them because sometimes they'll go on sales as well at other locations. Um, but yes, this is definitely something to pick up. Um, just really gorgeous fragrance. All right, guys, so that's it. That was my Sephora VIB sale event holiday haul this year. I hope you had fun kind of checking out the items that I actually picked up. I'm excited to try some of these things out. If you want to hear my thoughts on some of these products as I actually start to use them, definitely comment down below and you can try to put together videos or reviews of certain products if you want to check them out. Otherwise, let me know what you liked from the VIB sale this year. I hope you're staying safe and healthy with your family and enjoying some amazing holiday time together. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.